level, which is kind of coming back to if you're lying down you want to sit back up, you're totally invited to do so. It's also not necessary. Awesome. Pause the music. Awesome. Well, welcome back, everyone. So yeah, just basic breathing mechanics, taking the time to breathe in a certain way. So this is kind of the quickest way to gain control of your nervous system state. Um, and just really, not even just the breathing, but also those interoceptive exercises, allowing yourself to look within. How do I feel? What is my, what is my physiological process right now? Right? There's the, how do I feel from that emotional state? But then there is just the, like, okay, I have tension in my chest. I feel my heart rate is elevated. I feel a tension in my body. So just taking the time to go within, recognize, and that's the beautiful thing about meditation is that we do have all these options of things that we can do. We can meditate and literally do nothing, allow the mind space to just act on its own and just be there with it with no judgment. But then we can also take a proactive role as well. We can breathe in a certain way and start calming down our bodies. We can actually do these interoceptive exercises and build an awareness of, huh, I hold on to a lot of tension in this area, or huh, I feel that my emotional home is this particular emotion. And just from that, we can start to, you know, maybe manage things a little bit. So those are always options that are constantly available to us. Just taking the time to breathe. They said, like, when I'm doing meditation, that's usually what I'm focusing on. I focus on how am I breathing, trying to take those deeper, fuller breaths, trying to find any little points of tension, release them in the body. Um, and yeah, you can do it while you're meditating. You can do it while you're driving, sending out emails, making phone calls. All these options are always available. And so with that, now we're going to kind of switch gears a little bit because